Ciao Leute und willkommen zurück zu L.A. Noir. Das letzte Mal sind wir genau hier stehen geblieben vor dem Zentralrevier. Und unsere nächste Aufgabe ist jetzt was? Nochmal. Ähm. Aufgaben. Ah, Stuart Ackermann für hören. Okay. Dann machen wir das mal. Sitzt da da drin? Nein, der Verhörraum ist leer. Da nicht rein. Dann muss ich hier drin sein. Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Why did you kill Mrs. Terrellson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. You've made two previous attacks on women? I hate them. The way they look at me, the way they flinch at my touch. I need them. Yet I despise them. Scheiße, erste Frage schon mal falsch, falsch gemacht. Verdammt. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrellson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. <laughs> Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrellson. A man down on his luck I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. Den nächsten Fall abgeschlossen. Gefundene Hinweise 12 von 17. Fragen richtig 4 von 13, okay. Okay, den nächsten Fall haben wir abgeschlossen. Nice. Der Mord der Sekretärin. Of 
course we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Councillor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring and matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. Forty-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. You're a real asshole. You know that? Mouthpiece store strips off me at the Grand. Another body and Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. How exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass? Is that what your old man paid college to wish for? Okay, I would say we go first to the Fondleier and then to the Bahnhof, I would say. Yo, so we're going to do this now. You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Does this mark mean anything? All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. Zum Bahnhof. We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The purpose having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, then the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, Phelps? Skipper ain't gonna like this one. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping out on his own. 
Hopala, Watch where you're driving, hopala. you maniac! Sorry. If we survive this, it's going to be a miracle. Just go easy, Phelps. Dad, you're gonna kill us! I know what I'm doing. Same team, Rusty. Chief, den Kollegen verfolgen. Verfolgen, nicht verfolgen. Chain of command, Phelps. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. The smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. The autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Da ist nix an der Hand. Okay, die Leiche ist fertig. Blutspritzer. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. Samba hier. Eine Handtasche. Someone was trying to get her to come home. Go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole.
Keystone Studio lot, closed back in 41. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Shit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. So, haben wir denn hier noch irgendwo was? What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. Mit dem konnten wir uns nur unterhalten. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Schon wieder, ein, schon wieder ein Lippenstift. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop! Don't hit him. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. Did you take any money? It wasn't any to take. <clears throat> I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. Erste Frage schon mal richtig beantwortet. Das ist gut. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. You just came across the body. Yes, that's exactly what happened. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Clyde, you get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thank you. Ich würde sagen, wir fahren erstmal zur Mensch Bar und dann zu Livines Liquor Store. Ja. So machen wir das jetzt, Freunde. Read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. 
Really? I guess that's okay, then. Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? KGPL 20 Century Unit. The citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th. Any Century Unit identify. Jesus, Phelps! Freunde, ich würde sagen, bevor wir zu Bar fahren, machen wir jetzt erstmal wieder eine Nebensache. Ist ja jetzt auch wieder ein paar Parts her, seitdem wir eine Nebensache gemacht haben. Dann machen wir das erstmal und dann fahren wir zur Bar. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going! Wieder eine Verfolgungsjagd. Alles klar. Okay. Oh Mann. Scheiße. Oh mein Gott. Nein. Verdammt. Scheiße. Scheiße, scheiße, scheiße. Okay, versuchen wir das jetzt nochmal. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going! Sleep on me. Get me back in close. You come any closer, I'll pull the trigger. Put the weapon down now. Geschafft. Puh. Car 11K calling KGPL. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We're code 4, but I need an ambulance on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. 11K, Roger on your ambulance. All units be advised, the suspect is down on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. Acht von 40 Straßenverbrechen abgeschlossen. Alles klar. Rang 10 sind wir jetzt. Geil. Cool, cool, cool. 
Okay, Freunde, jetzt würde ich sagen, fahren wir zur Bar. Und ich denke, ab da machen wir dann beim nächsten Mal weiter, Freunde. Würde ich sagen. Calm down. Oder wir machen das jetzt noch und beim nächsten Mal dann zum nächsten Ort fahren. Ah, Freunde, ich werde mal gucken, wie ich es jetzt mache. Ähm, ja. It's against the rules to drive like this without a siren. Drink, fellas. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know, Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? A bunch of these guys. Ask around. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Did you see Evelyn last night? No. I was at home. Writing. Um, do you want to get dragged into this, McCaffrey? Do you want us to get interested in you? She hung out with this powder puff, James Tiernan. They haunted the public library together. How well do you know James Tiernan? I know he works some kind of plebeian job at Rawlings Bowling Alley. Rawlings? I know that place, corner of 9th and Graham. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Erste Frage schon mal richtig beantwortet. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Jetzt würde ich sagen, How about liegt? murder, McCaffrey? You ever been involved in a murder before? If I'm carrying the mark of Cain, you're going to need something to prove it, detective. Um... Looks like I was mistaken. Do you want to save me some time or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. Thank you for the information, okay. Mr. McCaffrey. Wir haben die zwei Fragen richtig beantwortet. Perfekt. Nice. Okay, wo geht's jetzt als nächstes hin? Ach, wir sind in der Bahn noch nicht fertig. Okay. Den nächsten Ort schon mal festlegen. Was ist denn hier noch? You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. 
You don't have any. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Mann, war der unfreundlich. Mit dem haben wir uns unterhalten. Da liegt eine Zeitung. Aber wie kommen wir jetzt dahin? Hm. Haben wir hier noch irgendwo was? Oder ist es jetzt fertig? Okay, die Bar haben wir noch nicht fertig. Vielleicht ein bisschen. Ich damit nichts. Hätte ja sein können, dass da was liegt. Naja, gut. Okay. Auf geht's zum nächsten Ort, wenn hier nichts mehr ist. What did you make of McCaffrey? He'll come a day, and it's coming very soon. We'll run him and the rest of his pinko buddies out of Los Angeles. I meant as a suspect, Rusty. Oh, wieder ein Wahrzeichen entdeckt. 8 von 30. Haben wir auch seit langem nicht mehr entdeckt, Freunde, ein Wahrzeichen. Nice. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins. Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. You know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never going to work out, was it? We'll take a look around. She wasn't always such a loner. Schönes Bild. Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Na, das hatten wir doch gerade eben. Rawlings Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. Da ist noch ein Bild. Und 
ansonsten ist hier gar nichts mehr. Okay. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Erste Frage schon mal richtig beantwortet. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her staying here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. To be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Perfect. Die nächsten beiden Fragen richtig beantwortet. Es läuft. Aber da, ist, da haben wir den Ort auch noch nicht fertig. Okay. Auf geht's zur Bowlingbahn. On your usual lane? I'm Detective Feltz. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? Nah, this is business, Florence. We got a guy who works here by the name of Tiernan. Sure we do. He's a pin setter. Clears the jams, works the gutters. Go right in. He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. <laughs> He's a nice boy. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. Okay, all is clear. Five star goddamn wedding. Tiernan, LAPD. For. Get oh, after him. We might yeah. go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. Oh, These are flashy God. cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast living individual with money to burn, Cole. Or a middle aged individual with the need to feel virile. Another runner. Well, at least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to lamb it. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means, folks. Belts! You gotta get me closer! If this isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's unless he runs into a wall and gets into trouble. He's going through the square! I hope the people see him in time to get out of the way. 
What if they run because someone's setting them up? Because they feel like the deck is stacked against them. Ah, don't make up ridiculous stories for them, detective. Leave that to the perp's imagination. Oh, looks like we're going into the tunnels. God damn it, he'll kill himself. It's all right, as long as he doesn't kill us, I'm okay with it. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. The end of that. It's about fucking time. Give it up, LAPD. Okay, Freunde, es hat jetzt gerade eben gespeichert. Ich würde sagen, wir machen beim nächsten Mal weiter. Das war's fürs Erste mit L.A. Noir. Wenn euch die Folge gefallen hat, lasst mir doch gerne einen Daumen nach oben da. Über ein Abo würde ich mich auch freuen. Und ja, Freunde, dann würde ich sagen, hören wir uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Das war's. Haut rein, Zockerboy, Game over. Ciao.